So if you look on the bottom panel, does that look familiar to like Windows 10? Yes, it's a okay. similar layout, yeah. And what, what do you think you've got there? What do you think that one at the bottom left would be? Well, you've got your file yeah. manager, yeah. file browser, haven't you? Yeah, so it highlights it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Firefox. Yeah, and then what's the next one? So you got your terminal there. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't use Firefox though, would you? No. Okay. What? So is that automatically loaded on it? As in, um, it's a default. Yeah, it's like the default. Because what would you normally use? Do you think, or what do you prefer? Well, if you're in um, like with Windows, you'd have the Chrome. Yeah, you would go Chrome, right? You? Yeah. So you really want like. Um, soft install the software don't you mm. but obviously to install the software say it was like edge you would use like a uh, firefox wouldn't you i guess to yes. install but they might have it in their software center they might do so if you oh, hit okay. start it might uh, so, so it's like the start menu right yeah and then you can just start typing in like uh software there you go, you see Software Manager. Right, okay. Now it could be argued you should just update first, but mm. you should be fine. Yeah, what's best practice on that to update well, first? Well, it's probably good practice to update first. Mm. So, um, but we'll just see if they've got Google Chrome in Chrome. there anyway. Yeah, well that's what I'm used to, so. Yeah. If you're generating real cash, then we'd be billionaires by the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, change the C A C H E, the C A S H, please. Right. So. So you, it's funny enough. It's come up with Google Earth, like the front advertisement. Yes. But if you look at the top left of that, you've got like a search bar. Mm. Oh, so you can tap yeah. it in here. Or you've even got like categories, so you can like choose go by internet or mm. other stuff. But you could just try. Type in Google Chrome. Yeah. On Google Chrome. In, oh, okay, so they might not have it in here. Uh, yeah. So it's interesting, they haven't got it. I thought they'd have it like, um, there's like different formats like flat packs and things like this, but I can't mm. actually see it. Okay, if you just like close that out then. Mm hmm. The whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then go to the bottom there to your Firefox. You don't have to go to Google's website. Google Chrome's website um, download that. Hey, do you think that's a bit annoying though? Well it is because it... I would have thought it'd be quite a standard yeah. um, piece of software that you just go in and you could find it. But I think the easy. strange thing is once you download it and install it it will ins it will add it to the software repository for updates mm. which is weird so you'll update it from the software repository probably. So just open a new tab. Yeah. And then put in Google Chrome. So hit enter. Oh, it's funny because this is obviously using searching through Google as well mm. on Firefox. Right. Yeah, whatever you want to do, accept. It's come out that yeah. as well. Right, so when we're downloading. We can download now mm. if you want. Let's go to that. Yeah, when it loads, when it highlights. So really what we've learned there is just go straight to Firefox if you're searching for... Well, yeah. Um, Sorry. No, Let go if you're going for Google Chrome. Yeah. Download Chrome. Mm -hmm. And accept it. And now with the 64-bit... Well, this is the thing. Would you know what to look for here? Um, please select your download package. Well, we spoke about Debian and we've got the system mm. Ubuntu, so I'm guessing it's going to be that one. Yeah. But you wouldn't necessarily know using that first no. time, would you? And what is that? Is how would you know about? Because you've mentioned about Fedora. As well, well, if you were using Fedora, the distribution, you'd get the Fedora. Dot RPM. And that's just packaging formats. Yes. So it's dot deb is. If you like Ubuntu's packaging format or uh, Debian as well, because mm. Ubuntu is based off Debian, yes, but Mint is based off Ubuntu, mm. so it's like layers deep. So we can go for that one. Because when you're using your computer, what would you say you use the most out of everything? 
what for normal just every day yeah like your everyday experience on your computer where do you do most of everything would you say well it is on google exactly so, uh, so if like on any windows computer you just click on that and it should open it up start the install Well, this looks a bit more mm -hmm. like it, so install package. Mm -hmm. So to you, does that feel like a sort of normal Windows thing? Just click an install package. Yeah, yeah, it's the normal experience. Mm. It looks like it's installed, but does that, it doesn't like tell you it's installed, does it? No, I mean it's like greyed out, it doesn't yeah. look very positive, but it should be right, shouldn't it? Yeah, so, oh no, it um, does tell you. You're right, it was successful. Okay, so w now I guess you just what would you do? Well, can you just click out yeah. that and then it's. Mm -hmm. But where is it? Exactly, because if this was Windows, you'd usually have a little thing, wouldn't yes. you? Yes. I guess you'd have to go in your menu. Is it on the start? And then start typing. Again, Google Chrome. Yeah. There you go. What you could do, you could mm. right click on that. And then you could add it to the panel. That's a panel. And you can add it to the desktop as well. So mm. you could even maybe right click on that at the bottom there. Yeah. Just so it's obvious. And okay, it doesn't give you it from there. Or you could again you probably have to go back into To the start. Yeah, and then if you did what you needed to do. And then right click. And then you could add it to like the desktop. There so you've go. got it there. Yeah. So, so this would be how you'd normally use it, right? Yes. Yeah. Just open it from there. Choose a password for the new keyring. Now, does that seem confusing to you? Mm, a little bit, yeah. Because you wouldn't normally see that, right? No, It'll that's a different, yeah, different step. So if you saw that, what would you do? Well, I, I guess you've got to... I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know really. I'm just trying to think because it's not, you know, you get so used to yeah. using, don't you, Google? So it's, it's, an, but what, have you got to check it? Well, here's the thing with certain, particularly um, desktop distributions, mm. you need to add like a password for these key rings. Which I think it's like a scoop. I never really understood it myself. I never really mm. looked into it. Mm. And I think it's the certain programs. Mm. Maybe somebody in the comments will explain. I never actually understood why you need this, or I, I'm sure I looked it up, but I never quite. So is it another back in the day. another layer of security? Maybe. Mm. So if it says choose a password, I guess you'd just choose a make a password, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. So I guess you could type in a password. Mm -hmm. Just just do one that just literally mm. don't worry about. It. Just do password because it's only on a virtual machine. Yeah. It's not going to affect. It will delete this after so you try and hack my wife <laughs> on there <laughs> sounds painful Let's continue right so we want to make it the default browser mm -hmm. so you would normally you would sign in wouldn't you yes. obviously you want to sign on this mm. so if you make that full screen yeah. And then just say don't sign in. Mm-hmm. And then it changes the screen resolution again randomly. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? I guess right. you could just turn that on, add privacy feature, although do Google really give you add privacy? I don't know. Mm. And then I guess you just go all the way down to the bottom and then got it. And then yeah. make that full screen again. So how does that look to you compared to like Windows? Does it just look the same or different? Similar, yeah. So if you're going to, yes. I don't know, say you put in a news website, see what you think, mm. like, I don't know, bbc.co.uk or something. Yeah. Does that look sort of similar? It's similar, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's yeah. very similar to the usual experience. Just try maybe like one more, like YouTube. Just see, go on my. Or no, 
Here you go, a shameless plug. You can put James Champion XYZ. James Corden, how dare you? <laughs> hey, we get to see your website. And then if you were on my videos. Max Single Buffer. The frame buffer this, the frame buffer that. Yeah. So the frame buffer so amazing, all this yes. magic, it does so, all these amazing yeah. things. So Why are we think? having to suff all this works, stuff in oh, X11 and yeah. YLAN? Yeah. And he videos. keeps talking. Gonna listen to media. Well, this is why t for me it's like YouTube. Mainly, I'm going to be using YouTube, yeah. uh, the news websites, um, and just generally surfing. Yeah. Cultural sites, music, etc. Speaking of music, music that's yeah. like the other one, isn't it? Spotify. Yeah. So. If you're going to look for Spotify, so if you say just came out of this, because you don't use like the web browser Spotify, do you? No. You use an app, right, or the program. App. Yeah. So if you like close this out. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah, it can't. This, uh, just this. Yeah, just close it out like that. And then if you went into software again, so if you click on that and then start typing software, and again, you could right click and save that as your. Oh, on here? Yeah, it's like yeah. your panel, so you've got like a future a reference, and then you just click on that. Yeah. Oh, look, it's there. There you go. Middle. So you'd click on that. Install. You know me, because I love my music. I hope I know you, you're my wife. I you didn't know, know you. me at all. I didn't know you. <laughs> okay, so launch. You can launch it from there, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. So it's asking you to log yeah. in. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, it looks good. So if you it's... were doing updates, mm. obviously Windows would actually do them automatically, wouldn't they? Yeah. That's the only one thing. So you'd have to do them. Do you do manually. them manually? That's really the idea. Mm. I think you can set automatic updates, but. Mm. So say if you were going to, looking for updates, what would you do? Well, you'd go into the start again. Yeah. And do you have to put, um, would it just be under updates or is there something else you need to go? I, I think was it's it under updates, but so how would you find it basically? Or is that in like settings? Well, you could go to settings or how have you been finding things previously? Oh, in the software manager. No, but what I mean is... Oh, in the... Um... When you go in this menu, what do you tend mm. to do f to to find the thing you're looking for? Just typing it in. Mm-hmm. There you go. Update manager. Yeah. Oh, so everything's a something yeah. manager. And again, we could p pin that. Yeah, exactly. We? So. Or add to the Cause panel. Because it's something you're going to have to do regularly, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to keep coming, flicking out of that, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Update Manager. Right, OK. Mm -hmm. So your system's up to, up to date. date. Now it's asking you to switch to local mirror. Yes, alright. So you know like when we downloaded Mint itself, mm. it wants to get its updates from a local server because mm. it's quicker. So I guess if you go yes, so from our point of view or my point of view, would it be you just go in like each time you go in you into Mint you'd be doing those updates? Yeah. Just to for the Yeah, I think it's it. like good practice. Mm. So here's the mirror sources now. I don't know if it's because you hit yes, it's now finally brought it up. So if you mm. go main, you obviously don't want the United States because it's across the no. Atlantic, do you? No, that's exactly right. So we went back to um, UK. Now, what was the good? I uh, see it gives you speeds here. Yeah. Know, what's the oh, fastest? We didn't get that before, did we? Well, server.net is pretty fast. That's the fastest one, so you're yeah, probably going to want the so fastest. So, should we go yeah. there? Hit apply. Okay. How and, come it didn't show us before? <laughs> and then here's the thing you have to update mm. that. The click here. Yeah. But it, it's not necessarily like as easy as it as you'd expect. No. You, you sort of almost be. want a Windows type thing. Yes. I know it's like learning. Well, it's also familiarity. Yeah. Me personally, 
it's familiarity and then you know so what do you think of it yeah, I like it so far. It's good. It just took us a while to get our way around it, navigate around. No, of course you can, like, customise this. Mm. But it looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. You can custom. Maybe in the future, mm. next video, we can go into... That was a new version of it, anyway. Mm. You could go maybe into, like, customise it. Maybe we could install it. Yes. But what's your, like, your first impressions? Oh, just I like it. I like it. It's a good alternative. Yeah. Um, but it's what you said is... Is getting playing around with it, getting familiar with it, knowing what you can, you know, the sort of usability of it, and um, if you get any, you know, get any problems, you just go sort of, with, you know, going back to base if you like. But I'm guessing thing. now you, although you're using this right, mm. and obviously you use Windows 11, mm. you're not screaming out to go right. I need to replace Windows 11, are you? No. That's the thing. You not wouldn't go way. okay. This yeah. is like amazing. You know, it is usable, but it's just you wouldn't yeah. go. Oh, I need to replace Windows 11 because mm. you're not in that position, right? Mm. But does it feel like kind of familiar? In that yeah, way? it's is as similar as it can be. I would say. Yeah. yeah. That being said, I think being a new user to it, for example, mm. I think you'd want things more automated, wouldn't you? Yes. I think like updates so definitely that last part uh, uh, with the just, updates you know talking about mirrors now again it's a bit of a learning curve obviously you want to learn mm. but i think just for convenience um and like why isn't google chrome in the software center yes that 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 did strike me as odd yeah so i think yeah. that would be a sort of critique of it i would say but overall though reasonable yeah. experience yeah Very good and then, like, if you wanted to power it down, how would you power it down, do you think? Not, obviously, as a virtual machine, but as, like, a computer. What would be, like, if you are on Windows, how would you power it down? Well, you just go, you usually go to the start bar, don't you? And where was the power, would you think, there? Down here? Mm-hmm. And shut down? Yeah. So that's... Okay, uh, shall we leave it there? I think we'll leave it there, but that was a good uh, learning experience. Yeah, good. And you're still sick on Windows 11 for now? For now. Yeah. You haven't, it hasn't, or well, you haven't with it. You've convinced I've me. I've failed, basically. Well, no, you haven't failed, but <laughs> you, failed. what it is, so it's far. just, it's finding something, yeah. isn't it, that's compatible but you feel or similar. Yeah, sorry. Do you yeah. feel it's like a bit of a learning thing? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Which I'm, I'm willing to do, you know, I think I need to not just rely on one way of working mm. one system yeah okay we'll leave it there then so mm. what's the customary way you finish our video <laughs> no like no what's the customary way this isn't anybody's channel this is our channel this is our channel so what's the customary way you close out a video well for both of us for, for this channel, what's the way you do? <laughs> <laughs> How do you close it out? I don't know. Just say the fake YouTube. Fake YouTube. Well, I've got that you from you, the, haven't you? What do you do with the fake YouTube thing? What's the things you got to do? Like and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.